Hello, our Hebrew nation. My name is Daria, and I would like to first introduce the love of my life, my wife, Aisha. Hello. We've been married for 14 years, and we are the founders of the Hebrew Israelites Recommence Organization. We have been commissioned by the Most High Yah to galvanize his Hebrew people in preparation for our exodus. We're going back to our home nation, y'all, Israel. All right. So, um... I want you all to excuse my voice. As you all know, we are in Chicago. It has been very cold. I've had this cold for two weeks. Actually, this this, this throat thing, my voice been going in and out. So, um, you know, and it being two degrees on Friday didn't help. I worked by the lake, so that was actually, it was actually in a negative over there. So um, if you hear some cracks here and there, that's what it is. My voice is still not, um, back to you know what it what it should be mm -hmm. at all um this weather is crazy up here but mine is fine don't worry about that <laughs> <laughs> you have some nerve okay so what we're gonna do we, we want to get right into the title of the video and it is called the black empowerment deception part one and it's probably what not what you all think you know but we want to we want to get into the title Honey, first I want to start off with, um, you know, I want you to give the definition of what um, indoctrination means, okay? Remember, the title of the video is The Black Empowerment Deception, Part 1, okay? And just so you all know, we're not done with Lesson 12, Reparations Now, but we had to do an interlude because we, mm -hmm. we, we, we have a small problem here, Yeah. right? Okay, so the, and, and and this this problem is this is what we want to deal with, and that's the title of the video: black in, the black empowerment deception part one. Because you, uh, we, we 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 need to talk about this. So before we go into it, I want you to read the definition of what is indoctrination. Okay, get that, my people. What is indoctrination? What's the definition of indoctrination, honey? Um, the definition of indoctrination as a noun is the process of teaching a person or group to accept a set of beliefs uncritically. Okay, can you read that one more time so that my, our people get it? The definition again of indoctrination is the process of teaching a person or group to accept a set of beliefs uncritically. Okay. So, indoctrination is basically teaching a set of beliefs without even criticizing it or thinking oh, about it. Critical thinking a, involved. Right. It's just a, it's a part. That's what indoctrination is. That's what we want to start off with that definition. And the reason why is because we want to address some things. Now, what you need to know is that... Um, there's a lot of things that was given to us by Esau, you know, as coming to this country on slave ships and just being here for 400 years and for my, our brothers and sisters in the islands for 500 years. And none of this is new. Okay, so let's go to the title of the video when I said when I say I I, I, hate, I hate to go here, but we have to go. We here, got right? to because they, they got to kill that spirit. Yeah. Yeah, it's blocking um, the passage to two men of his sheep here in his message. Yeah. So the black empowerment deception. First of all, we want to talk about them. We talk about indoctrination, which is read the definition one more time, sweetie, because it's, it's, make sure because I'm, I'm about to go into this. The definition of indoctrination as a noun. It is the process of teaching a person or group to accept a set of beliefs uncritically. And right, and that's right. So you just accept it because it's just what it is. Right. And it's what's taught to you all the time. Right. Okay. Or repeatedly, that's what you're hearing or you're allowing yourself to be exposed to. Okay. And that's what I want to talk about. Because we got this hashtag, Descendants of Slaves, mm. going on online. Yeah. And we had this hashtag, Foundational black american mm -hmm. 
Now, from what I understand, that was originally that term was originally started from Yvette Carnell and Tony. I don't even know his last name. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is no personal dig towards them. I don't listen to that channel as much because every time I clicked on it, it was very negative and it's always begging Esau for reparations, which he's never going to give you. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just never really paid attention to that. But according to what I understand, I could be wrong. You guys could contact me if, if that's the case. She, they started this term, okay? And that's fine. I respect that. But... You have hashtags descendants of slaves and hashtag foundational black Americans going online all this week. Mm -hmm. And a little longer than that. And let's get something very clear here. This is what we, we want to address. This is why we had to do an interlude mm -hmm. and, 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 and break, take a break in between lesson 12 and we have to deal with this. I want, first of all, I need you all to understand this hashtag descendants of slaves and this hashtag foundational black Americans. Let's get something straight. Number one, that's why we talked about the, uh, the indoctrination definition. Descendants of slaves, you know, Esau has been telling us that since we've been here. Yeah. That we descendants of slaves. So I don't know why. Yeah, and actually, that's where our history starts in this country. Yeah. If you go to the museums. And in the public schools, they make it clear that you're just a descendant of slaves. And, they don't and, give you and, nothing no more than that. And also for the islands, that's where your history started, going to your museums. Right. So, I don't understand why this is so new. Esau Ben gave us that narrative. Y'all yeah. descendants of slaves. Y'all start from slavery. Our history starts from slavery in the history books in the public schools. And our history starts from slavery in any museum you go to. Mm -hmm. e that's why even in 2020, this bill, that this $20 bill, guess who they going to put on there? Harriet Tubman, a slave. Now, they could have picked plenty of black Americans mm -hmm. to put on the $20 bill, but they chose Harriet Tubman. Why? Because they want us to remember, that's their indoctrination, uh -huh. that we are descendants of slaves. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to figure out why the hell the black empowerment movement think this shit new. Because they scared of Esau? They sound silly. Y'all sound like a bunch of idiots out here talking about some hashtag descendants of slaves. Esau been telling you that for years. Since you've been here. What's so powerful about that? And this is this is the so-called black empowerment movement that's spreading this poison online. As if it's powerful. There's nothing powerful about it. Actually, it's very defeating. Yeah. Very yeah. Yeah. defeating. And this hashtag foundational black americans okay let, let's let's be clear about something because we're gonna deal with this black empowerment because I'm, I'm getting sick of this okay and so is listen you are not foundational to this this nation white supremacy is foundational to this nation okay you were just the tools you you were just we were just tools that were used in white supremacy. Let me say that again. You are not foundational to this nation. White supremacy is. And we were just tools used to make white supremacy stronger. So what I almost went there. What do you mean foundational black Americans? There's no such freaking thing. Y'all sound silly. You're not even a black American. You're a Hebrew. But, yeah, yeah we're going to get on that. We do this every video. Yeah, we're going to get on that, babe. But, let me say that again. You are not foundational to this nation. White supremacy is. You were just a tool, a tool used to enforce the white supremacy. So that very title, that very hashtag alone is a damn joke. They running around here hashtagging as mm -hmm. if they doing something you ain't doing nothing but interrupting god's plan a, an agenda y'all sound like a bunch of idiots we're all and you're steps. scattering his sheep away from him instead of toward him as if you don't have um a price to pay for that yeah yeah you know 
we're about to get on that now because we want to talk about who who does God say we are? Why y'all running around calling y'all sell descendants of slaves? That shit ain't nothing new. Y'all sound like a bunch of idiots. And be the, Esau been telling us that our whole lives we descendants of slaves. That's why y'all damn self esteem so low. You won't even upload a video and you scared of them. That's why you doing that because he didn't let you know your whole life you ain't never been nothing but a descendant of slaves. And now they running around hashtagging. Mm -hmm. Is we, it, as if you is trying it, to uh, 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 movement is, is that a movement? A it movement is, to your destruction. Yeah. Let me let me explain something to, to you. In the old age, under Esau's reign, you yeah. were descendants of slaves. In this new age, Jacob's reign, you are the descendants of royalty. Mm -hmm. All it, all it's a matter of doing is you flipping the switch of your mind in the way you think and you can begin the process of unlocking your true spiritual nature and that's the problem we have this black we have our black empowerment people which I love by the way I'm coming for you though I'm coming for you because I believe that there's some hope for some of you, still for some of you I have no problem with black empowerment you are people but what you're doing right now is wrong you know you know what you're doing we say that we've got gold that Esau stole mm -hmm. and it's time to go get it yeah. and it's time to get our land back. Yeah. But because you and your ego, yeah. you want to jump up and say, no, we descendants of slaves and we want to demand land here from Esau. That's, that's the <laughs> dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. When I'm telling you, <laughs> wow, I'm telling you what they already know, what daughter Babylon already know, mm -mm -mm. this shit finna be set on fire. Right. So I don't even know why y'all still own that boy. They own it because they in their ego. <laughs> and they want to be the leader. Mm. When God didn't appoint them as the leader. And I see why. Because mm -hmm. you telling the Hebrew nation, you're not Hebrews, you're descendants of slaves. Mm -hmm. or, or you and, 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 and you don't want your own land. You We want some land here. Here. Okay. And just for the record, we didn't even know that they put that foolishness up. There was a video with, that Tariq Nasheed started. And they talking about some um, foundational Black Americans uh, uh, union address. <laughs> oh my God! Oh Lord, please! Man. I love you. We lo we love you. We it love it you. made a, it, it gave us a chuckle. I mean, yeah. But really, stop. Just stop. Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. Yeah. That's the only thing I, yeah. I came in my spirit. But you know what? We have to address it. And at the end of the day, we have to address it because y'all got this shit going viral. If you can hashtag that bullshit, <laughs> why don't you hashtag hashtag descendants of royalty? It'll get you a lot further. I, 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 I do believe that'll get you a lot further, a lot quicker to, to the end result that is right. Well, well, well why don't they hashtag, hashtag fake paper money? Since you're talking about some tangibles. Hashtag fake paper money. And I would love to know how they're going to get Esau to give them anything when we ain't been able to do that for 400 years. Right. How you going to do that without the power of God? Oh, and here's a thought. Hashtag the Hebrew Israelite Recommiss Organization. Huh? Yeah. Hashtag that shit. No, they they because they want to be they want to be in on the front line, and they don't have. The, you don't uh, have the anointing, uh, anointing, the authority. You 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 running from Esau now? He ain't even messing with you. <laughs> you scared? He's gonna pull a video off the, your your channel or block your video from going up, and you he it's all you you you're not saying nothing, so it needs to be blocked. <laughs> no, we love you though. But we love you. We love. Yeah, you. we do. Okay, so let 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 let's deal with this because we want to talk about who God says we are. What does Isaiah chapter forty one say? While y'all running around hashtagging descendants of slaves, Esau been telling y'all that shit for one hundred and fifty years. It's not new about that. They act like they saying something new. <clears throat> All you doing is re and this is what I want to address too as a mother. What child in her right man? My son came home with that. You know they go to private school. They get. I'm. I'm just saying. This is, he said, "Ma, I remember him asking me, where, where are we from? What what parent in their right man would tell them you're a descendant of slaves? <laughs> what? Why would I tell my 13 year old child, my 10 year old boys about it? By, by the that? way, oh, you just a descendant of slave. Just the fact y'all y'all sitting here trending that shit." Indoctrinating. What, what what parent in their right mind would tell their child you just a descendant of slaves? Hmm. Cause you following what Esau has already indoctrinated you to follow, so you'll be in your little comfort zone. 
in, 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 in the black empowerment movement acting like they and then, then had a nerve to call it black empowerment yeah that's had a I mean. nerve <laughs> wow shame 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 shame, shame. Mm-hmm. okay what does that so, so let's talk about what the most high call us while y'all running around calling y'all descendants of slave y'all sound silly by the way okay honey what does i say of 41 and 8 say under the heading the helper of israel now this is remember the the 40s of isaiah is specifically explaining our second exodus our second exodus and so what does 41 8 say what is god saying about these these hashtag uh uh descendants of slaves <laughs> oh god help me father please jesus i'm just trying isaiah 41 <laughs> I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 41, <laughs> verse 8, under the heading, the helper of Israel. Verse 8, but you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I've chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend. Wow, let's stop right there. Let me slow that down. But you, Israel, he talking to daughter Zion. My servant, Jacob, he talking to us, he calls us Jacob. Whom I've chosen. We his chosen people. This is God the Father this talking. This is God the Father talking. You dis he said you're the descendants of Abraham. My friend. My friend. And descendants of Abraham, my friend. Descendants of Abraham, my, my friend. friend. Descendants, descendants of Abraham, Abraham, my friend. And they running around calling themselves. We descendants Sinners of the slaves. slaves. Hmm. Oh my God. Really? Wow. And the black and In 2019, really? <laughs> You yep. descendants of Abraham, my friend. We are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And instead of instead of accepting that, we descendants of slay. Hashtag descendants of slay like they doing some shit. Huh. They running around talking about fake voting that don't even exist. I already explained to y'all that th th there's no such thing well, as a damn democracy. You, you know what, babe? Well, maybe for Ugh. maybe for them and their followers, they're descendants of slaves. But uh, we the the we ride over here. We descendants of royalty. Yeah. So you can stay on your side of the fence, descendants of slaves. But we descendants of royalty. Well, that's because they don't believe in the Bible. We get we get yeah. we get into that. We are gonna get these black empowerment people because God got some sheep that He want to get, and y'all need to listen. Okay. Get out your ego. Do you want to be free or not? Wow. Or dead? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because um, like I said. That's there's there's no middle ground. There's no gray area on this 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 fight right here. With this foolishness, you're not doing nothing. We 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 stopping voting. Listen, it don't matter who they put in there or who you get to put in there. At the end of the day, we already told you seven royal families that run it, and they still gonna have your ass like the beast, um, being conquered and raging war again. So it doesn't matter. Y'all act like y'all doing something. You're not doing nothing. It, but misleading God's sheep. Descendants of slaves. Hashtag descendants of slaves. What, what did God say in his word over my dead body? Yeah. Will you not um do what I tell you to do? Yeah. So, B, let's, let's, let's go back to the word. We're gonna get we not going to get in our feelings. Let's go back yeah. to what most happened. And I'm sorry. I was pre paraphrasing that, that right. verse. <laughs> so don't hold me to that scripturally. Yeah. But you know what's in there. We upset because... We have the Black Empowerment Movement, which I know you know better. I know you know better. And you misleading God's people, talking about some descendants of slave hashtag and hashtag tangibles. When you know damn well you don't have no power to get nothing from Esau. Okay? It is what it is. But we love you. Y'all need to listen. Wow. Okay. They, they don't have to listen. You know, they can do, it's free will. You can do what you want. But don't say you weren't told. Yeah. Yeah. Or forewarned. Forewarned. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So let's do. So we said the most high calls us. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I've chosen, the chosen people of God, you're descendants of Abraham, my friend. But y'all choose to call, you choosing to say hashtag and have it trending that we descendants of slaves like Esau told us as if that's something new. OK, so what does verse nine say? Verse nine continues. <coughs> I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. That's what God says about Hebrews, the Hebrew nation. And you running around talking about you descendants of slaves, sounding silly, real silly. And that's that indoctrination, okay? 
you act like you all act like you're saying something new. Esau has indoctrinated you to believe. Why do you think they picked Harriet Tubman to be on the twenty dollar pill? Mm -hmm. You love Martin Luther King and his dream so much, you could have easily picked him. Yeah. You could have easily picked Marcus Garvey. You could have picked a lot of more people, but you pick. They picked the slave to put on. A twenty dollar bill. They have always remanded you that you have big come from nothing but slavery, and now they Willie Lynch, mm -hmm. and they doing it themselves, and they, they hashtagging it, it like it's a powerful movement. No, black empowerment. It's not. And let me continue verse ten because it's very powerful. Isaiah chapter forty one verse ten continues. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. And help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yeah. So he's talking about the second exodus. And he's saying, so do not fear for I am with you. And do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I'm going to uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, you are running around all over the place because you're scared. And then they want to be a leader, and you don't even believe in the Bible, especially my black empowerment. Listen, I'm not done with y'all. I love you. But see, I'm not concerned about your feelings. I'm concerned about your souls. We want as many people to go to Israel with us as possible. Y'all running around here re rebelling against what God is saying. He said it's time for the second exodus. But see, they can't believe that because they didn't believe in the first one. Because you're listening to Dr. John Henry Clark talking about some the Bible is a damn fairy tale. You're listening to Elijah Muhammad's teachings. Yes. Folklore and stories. Let me tell y'all something. Listen up, you students of John, Dr. John Henry Clark. There I call him that. <laughs> you pan-Africanism. And, and, and you conscious community. With that fake-ass African history. African history is real. But it's not real for you because it's not your history. Okay? They told you that your history, that was your history. African history was your history. That's why you would run around talking about you Moors and you run around the same ones that conspired with the Europeans to sell our Hebrew behinds. You running around digging around Egyptian pyramids when they enslaved our Hebrew behind. Those are your enemies. Those are not your people and that's not your history. Okay? Your real history is the Bible, and that is that's what they told you is fake. It well, sounds that greatest that, story ever told. The great sounds about white, and y'all fell for that shit hook, line, and sinker. They told you the the just the very fact that Esau told you that you were African. That sh, that right there should let you know it's a damn lie. They told you this show history and that Bible. Is not your history. That's fake. That story. And you know what? You black empowerment. You conscious community. Y'all fell for that shit. Hook, land, and sinker. And that's why y'all running around right now sounding real silly. Okay? And out of the will of the Father, uh, mind you. Since when did Esau ever tell us the truth about anything? Just the very fact he telling you that you African, you should know you shouldn't. And he sent his agents. I'm about to call him that. John Henry Clark. Mm -hmm. to, to reiterate. That that's who you are. You're African. John Henry Clark. Listen, too many of y'all. And I'm not talking about some of you in the black empowerment community. I'm talking about most of you. Y'all listening to that bull crap. What you say? He was close to an atheist. He's as you as can close get. as an atheist. You and can he get. told you that your damn history is a fairy tale, folklore, and stories. And y'all fell for that dumb shit. And got y'all digging around in Africa. Them not even our people. Stop it and listen. Wow. Name one time Esau ever told us the truth about anything. I wait. He told you you was African. That let you know right there you should flip it. It's a damn lie. And he told you that the Bible is fairy tales. That should let you know right there it's a lie. And you probably you probably the type believe that the the U.S. actually landed on the moon the first time. Yeah. They huh. well they believe everything. They believe everything he saw, saw telling. Tell yeah. Yeah. So that's the thing. You can't believe you descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Cause Esau told you that's a fairy tale. You can't believe in the second Exodus because you didn't believe in the first. Y'all need to repent and listen. Okay. It's not a game. Y'all.
Y'all putting y'all foot in y'all mouth and you're going to get in trouble with God. He's not playing with you. He's trying to get y'all a chance. Let me make this very clear to you. Because we've been begging, especially the black empowerment um, that have the larger YouTube channels, to share this message, okay? And they they so busy on that on that dumb shit. They, they borderline atheists, okay? And you, with all due respect, we love you, but it is what it is. I got to get you because I'm, I want you to go. Okay. And not only you, you got to understand, you're accountable for all those 50,000 subscribers, all those 30,000 subscribers, all those 10,000 subscribers that you didn't lead to the message that you're hearing and regurgitating and putting your own hashtags to. Right. And you you're responsible for all those people's souls that you did not direct. <laughs> And you think you can get away with it because our channel is small. I already told you YouTube messing with our, our numbers. Okay, that's the only thing they are allowed to do. So yep. if, if there's thousands of people hearing us just like you hearing us right now. You know, plagiarism, by the way, is wrong. You all are intelligent enough to know that you do not take God's anointed message and try and put your own spin on it and make it yours. You're going to write a check that your butt can't cash. Don't do that. You, you know to cite your works. Okay. We all college degree here. You know how to cite your works. Wow. Mm -mm -mm, but we love you. What, what, what's the wow. saying? Hard head makes a soft ass? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can play with God if you want. Okay. It's going to take the anointing of God to bring down Esau, to bring down this beast in Revelation, which John Henry Clark didn't even know about. Okay. He didn't know that white supremacy was already written about 2,500 years ago in the Bible. Explain that. And he didn't know this second exodus was already written about 2,500 years ago. Okay? And y'all sitting up listening to that foolishness. It's going to get you left here. You Hebrews. But they'd rather call themselves descendants of slaves. Yeah. And hashtag and have it going viral. Well, I don't know about. Can you hashtag descendants of Abraham, right. Isaac, and Jacob like like what God says about you? Can you do that? Descendants of royalty, nigga. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, but I, I, like I say, I, you don't have to apologize. You're just making it easier for um, God to go ahead and do His job. And, and like I said, we love you, but um, good riddance. You know, yeah, at the end of the day, good cause, riddance. Cause Cause it, and it's a spirit. It's not the people we're mm -hmm. talking. It's it's a spirit that's. That's I'm, an atheist it's, spirit. Yeah, it's a spirit that's operating in you. So, you know, we we, we bring down spirits. We don't, and whoever has tested those spirits and they fall, oh, well, we keep it moving. And whoever has the ear to ear and start listening, we love you. We love you. Mm -hmm. and, and God loves you. Exactly. Jesus loves you. Okay. You are loved. Right. Oh, Israel. Jacob. Yeah. Descendants of Abraham. My friend. Exactly. Okay. So, let's go to Isaiah chapter 49 mm -hmm. okay and this is um the type the subtitle is the servant of the lord but one thing we want to talk about we only want to go over verse one mm -hmm. i want to i want to touch on that a little bit honey okay isaiah chapter 49 verse one under the heading the servant of the lord listen to me you islands hear this you distant nations before i was born the Lord called me. From my mother's womb, he has spoken my name. Okay. So this is the servant of the Lord that's talking that was written over 2,000 years ago. But the part I want to key in on is when it says, listen to me, you islands. That's the very first sentence. And the Lord is saying, hear this, you distant nations. See, that's the problem with the black empowerment movement. Mm -hmm. They know that fake African history because it's fake because it's not their history. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, it's real African history, but it's not your history. You're not African. We migrated into the West Coast of Africa when we lost our land. We are immigrant. We were immigrants in Africa. That has never been our homeland. Okay. When they, they took a certain part of Northern Africa, it's actually a part of Israel. And we're going to get that back when we go back. I get that. Okay. But... It still was Israel. It was not called Africa. And see, you guys, all you know is this fake-ass African history that Esau told you you're African-American. And you've got these John Henry Clocks, that devil, telling you that you're African. Okay? You only know African history that's not even yours. You're Hebrew. Your history is the Bible and the Apocrypha. Okay? 
And so that's why you can sit here. Now they're online talking about black immigrants. Mm -hmm. Now, I get it. I understand about coons and all of that. Nobody can't stand coons more than me. Okay? But even like a Roland Martin. Roland Martin is a coon. I, 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 I totally agree with that. But Roland Martin parents were Haitian. Mm -hmm. Haitians are Hebrews. Mm -hmm. They're still your people. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you got to love Roland Martin. What I'm right. saying is because you don't know your damn history, our people were scattered in all four corners of the earth. And that's why Isaiah 49 saying, listen, you idiots, but you don't know that. You know African history. You don't know Hebrew history. Don't come for it because you don't know it. And our people are in the is are is in the Caribbean islands. Hebrews are were scattered. They were also descendants of slaves in Haiti. They were also descendants of slaves in Jamaica. They 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 descendants of slaves in in um the West Indies. Those are our people, and you sitting here causing division when God is calling us to bring our Hebrew nation together. Unity. And you sitting up talking about them them them. They not descendants of sl American slaves. Y'all, this is a mess. And, and, this is and, a mess, babe. And, and, and again, they don't know shit. And again, think about this: when the Nelson Mandela situation, when he the apartheid movement, he did a lot of time in prison. That's not that's nothing new. We do a lot of time <laughs> in prison for a lot less. Yeah. Um, but what happened once um, Esau decided to um, let Mandela go, right? Mm. Esau knows everything Esau does is to program you on how you should look at the world that he's showing you. Mm -hmm. So he propped up Nelson Mandela. He went straight from prison to a national figure. Mm -hmm. And he, they, they made sure he came to America to reaffirm your connection to Africa. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of Hebrews believing that, wow, we overcame something. We overcame apartheid. We connect to Africa. The reason Esau does that, he never wants you to go to your true history, Hebrews, because you know once you know who you are, he's it's over. It's over for him. That's just biblical. That's that's prophetic. Mm -hmm. And so all of you black empowerment um, deception teachers or online personalities, do you do you understand? You're 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 in a space where I I, I don't really think you understand. You're in a space where. Um, God is the same as he was in the old when he decided, hey, I'm going to just, um, Noah build an ark, I'm going to just kill everybody. Mm -hmm. So, that's how serious it is. You are leading people away from what he is saying right now. And the people who follow you, you're leading them, not only leading them away from truth, you're accountable for all those people. Yeah. So, when you go before your personal judgment, He's going to look at all those people that you know you heard my voice, but you choose to go your own way anyway. Okay. Ego. I'll just say that. Your ego is... is, is you, so, your 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 damnation to hell is... is your ego is, is worth that. Because basically what is happening, honey, is we're saying we're Hebrews. And in the name of the Hebrew nation... We galvanize and we're going to get our goal. The Lord has raised up a prophet that and there, there should be other leaders of Israel. They should be echoing it. But in other, but in, in but instead of doing that, what they're going to come and say, we, so we're saying, God, we're going to get our gold back that you stole in the quadrillions. And we're going to get our land back and our identity back that you stole. And the black empowerment movement coming on saying, no, no, no. Right. We're not Hebrews. We're descendants of slaves. And, 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 and we won't land here with Esau mm -hmm. and fake paper money. And That's this, literally what they're doing. But, but check this out, babe. What makes you different from Kamala Harris, who you report on all the time? Mm -hmm. What makes you different from Cory Booker? What makes you different from Elizabeth Warren? What makes you different from any of the other puppets that they put before you? You're doing their job for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Wow. Y'all and y'all ego. Okay. I just seen some of you all in my dreams. And we actually go in a little light because the Lord let me know. It's it's some it's it's a few of them that from this black empowerment movement, especially some of these YouTubers that he he trying to reach. He working with their hearts. Okay. And we trying to tell you to do the right thing. 
Stop fighting the movement of God. I'm going to talk about that, by the way. So let's go to... Um, that, that, that goes to our next point when we say we, we love you, you know. We're not trying to... We're doing this... Like I said, the, the proof is in the pudding. We're willing to go before Esau on the front line for our people. So we're not here to just pounce on you. But when you misleading thousands of people to my hundreds people, of thousands descendants of slaves and got them um millions well, think they doing something by boycotting fake elections anyway that's not doing a damn thing because you 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 want to be the big guy you want to be the leader you don't have the anointing to be the leader you didn't believe in the damn bible you believe john henry clark when he told you that it was fairy tales and stories or Esau when he told you it was the greatest story he ever told. You should be glad God trying to get, save you right now. And get you back to Israel. Listen. With all due respect. I want to talk to my righteous ones too. My church folks. Okay. That's what we on when I say we love you. And we get on you guys. We've been a little hard. But this is about... We're trying to get you ready for the second exodus. As well as a lot of these things, you're, you're being trained and you don't understand or don't recognize it. But mm. you're being trained. Yeah. That's that's what, what the, what the um, where you may feel a piercing or something we may say that just pisses you or cuts you deep. It's, a, it's training you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a training. So look at it as a as a, 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 a light rod of correction. Like, okay, you, you you got some things right, but it's some things you you need to... He trying to raise up leaders of Israel, and you guys are bucking back, talking about some descendants of slaves. That's an abomination when he trying to make you a, 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 a leader of Israel. But you don't want to do that because you you and your ego. Stop it. And you misleading his sheep that, that puts you on dangerous territory, you black empowerment community. That puts you on dangerous territory because now he's going to have to get you because now you false teaching. I ain't and gonna, they up, uh, go ain't even going to say get you. He's going to make an example of you in front of the whole world. Because <coughs> they don't know what time it is. Jesus down here with blood on him. Y'all playing. Really? Y'all not seeing what we saying. Okay? And we say listen to the prophets. We're not trying to control you. We're saying that the Lord has called the servant of the Lord to lead the second exodus of course he's gonna tell him what's going on and what's next so we can get out of here that's common sense i would think so but wow. maybe but maybe all of them were publicly um school um talk yeah i was i was yeah. <laughs> you know they don't get it quite but i overcame i overcame that too yeah so i want to talk to my righteous ones okay my church folks and some of you are not in the church you know, and I definitely want to talk to, there's a channel called Motivating You to Win. You know, and there was Sister Sharon. Okay. Yes. And there was another prophetess, I don't like dropping names as much, but there was another prophetess online that we, we agree with their message. And she had called this channel Sister Sharon a witch, you know. And I, we just want to say, you know, that, that that is wrong. Sister Sharon is not a witch. She's a woman of God. And the reason why this is so important is because all of you, along with the black empowerment community, we just got on them. Listen up, my righteous ones. The Lord, is, he's out the black church. Okay, he's done. And that's why I tell you, for those that are still going to church, y'all need to come out them churches. Because when the, I'm seeing plagues and buildings falling, okay? So when God come for the churches, you don't want to be sitting up in there. Okay, come out of her. Come out of that. Yeah. Okay. But so so he online right now and he's raising up. That's what I mean. Leaders. He's ra We're not the only prophets. He's raising up prophets and prophetess. And some of you all online. Listen, that is out of land. You do not call another person a witch. You don't know because you don't know if that person is a witch or not. Just because they said something you don't like or you're offended by what they said. Now, now that is wrong. And that's an error. Okay. She is not a witch. You know, I'm a yeah. female. That's just that way. You really want to put the B in front of it. That's just the mm -hmm. church way of saying, bitch. You know, right, right, right. <laughs> don't try it. Don't try it. Okay. You all, you all need to start thinking as a nation. We're all Hebrews. And God is, he said, I'm going to raise up prophets in Israel. And that's what he's doing. And he's doing it online. No, he don't do it like you think. So he's taking your platforms extremely serious. You might as well be a pastor with a, with a, with a church. At this point, that's how he looking at YouTube, and that's what I'm trying to tell Black Empowerment. They think this is a joke. Mm -hmm. 
They misleading people, and you gonna pay for that by the most high if you don't stop this foolishness. Talking about some hashtag descendants and say hashtag tangibles. How the hell are you gonna get the tangibles? Esau ain't never gave you nothing, and you don't have the power to get it. Quit misleading people. And also, I just want to go on the flip side of your thought, and I do <coughs> want to address when you do make blanket statements mm -hmm. over a, a large group of people or segment of people. That was that's that's a part of a, a training. A, it's a part of training because you gotta understand that's something that the Pharisee spirit have in it because like if, if they know the evangelical Christians are doing something they when they report on or say something they say all Christians they say Christians mm -hmm. like I'll give you an example there were when they put the billboard up saying Donald Trump was the um someone paid for a group a, a, a Christian organization paid for a billboard somewhere and said Donald Trump is the um the 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 sent one or or he's the the Messiah something like blasphemous like that mm -hmm. so we had a, a Hebrew YouTuber. Um, went on and said, see what Christians do? Right. Your proper response should have been, you see what evangelical Christians do. Or Gentile Or Gentile Christians. Christian. The, the best term would have been, you see what the Gentile Christians do. Because mm -hmm. you know the Hebrews and Hebrew Christians did not get together for a billboard to say that about Donald Trump. But, you, but you're trying to prove but you, your point. But to prove your point, you blanket all Christianity. Mm -hmm. And going back to, again, from what my wife said, when you make blinking statements like like um, you have long nails or you have high heel pumps, when you put it out there like that, you blanket a whole segment group. The way to fix that, when you ever make statements like that, this is training. Whenever you make statements about high heels, you you give a testimony of when you wore high heels, what was your mind state? That way you people understand, yeah, that's how I think. Because guess what? If it doesn't resonate with whoever's listening to it, you shouldn't. It shouldn't bother you. But if it's something that resonates with you, and the only way it's gonna resonate, you have to give an example, a testimony, or something. It, it, you don't have, I have to always come from the Bible to give a, a, a um, stamp in what you're saying. If I'm saying uh, you're a harlot because you wear high heel shoes, you have to back that up with a personal testimony. Like when you were at, at that time wearing high heel shoes. Tell them my mind state. This is what I did it for, and that how they can, you. That's how you can draw them into understanding. And you won't alienate, or you won't blanket all folks. And, and you know what? As prophets and prophetess, you don't have to. You can't always concern yourself with how people are gonna feel about your message. Yes. What I want my righteous ones to know, my church folks that's online, that the Lord is using and raising up to be a voice for Israel now. Okay. What I want you all to know, holiness is still right. Holiness is still right. Righteousness is still right. Righteousness is still okay. right. Okay. What the Lord is teaching us, all of us, is that there are, like I told you in another video, there are different levels and different lanes. That's all. And I know so some silly said, women in, in my family on both sides. Yeah. I would categorize them as silly women. Right. So that's what I'm saying. That, that's what we mean when my husband trying to say. So the prophet is that called this other prophet is a, a witch that's wrong she's not a witch because you didn't agree with what she said you're in error with that don't do that please okay don't do that that's number one number two holiness is still right righteousness is still right what the lord is teaching us is that there are different levels and different lanes and you have to know what season the nation is in yes and that's going to take us to Ecclesi ecclesiastes three and one it but we, we 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 love you and keep doing what you're doing but understand that there are different levels and different lanes. He's teaching you to compartmentalize. We're about to go into that more with Ecclesiastes. Mm -hmm. What are you going to say, honey? And I was going to say, on, on back of that, yes. as far as, like, if, if you felt offended by her teaching at that, at, that, at that moment, mm -hmm. and in your mind you thought, this is a witch, the, what God, what do the word says? I'm going to pray for my enemy. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to pray for that person. Because you, you don't know. God... Whatever spirit is on, whatever he's he's he, he can he's he, well. See, that wasn't nothing. Listen, was, listen. Right. you're that dealing is, with all grown people. Yeah. Somebody online saying something to you, if it offend you like that, you let that go. That don't bother me. Yeah, you've been called a Wi-Fi prophet and yeah. everything. We don't sit up and get mad yeah. about it. We and, can, and that, we, and people but, say all kinds of stuff what, about that's us. But that's what that's what posted email addresses and phone um, numbers are for, mm -hmm. or address. You can send a letter. We and, gotta start thinking like a nation. You don't you don't do that. Um, in front of thousands of people. Right. You don't do that. Mm -hmm. You 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 were in error that was wrong. You do not call a fellow sister, a woman of God, a witch. Because what I'm getting about her and what you saying is two different things. God ain't gave me no indication. Me neither. The Lord told me she one of mine. Yeah. 
There was another couple when they were talking about celebrities all the time. I didn't agree with that. I was like, what is that? Because I had never heard that before. But I put it on the shelf. I didn't just come and blast them. And a couple of weeks later, the Lord told me I called them just I like called I them called y'all. I called y'all. Like yeah. Okay, he'll, he'll let you know. You all hear from God. You know that. I'm talking to my righteous ones. I just had to get on Black Empowerment, but we love you all. Yeah. Okay? We're trying to get y'all ready to go home. Okay? Wow. And a lot of you are being birthed into what you were created to do. Yeah, because he's about to take us into all levels. You Black Empowerment Movement too? Quit kicking against the movement of God listening to John Henry Clark. Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. And all the rest. You conscious. What you conscious about? You Somebody, don't know who you are. Some, some people blatantly says the the I honor prophet or or or, or the teachings of um, Marcus Garvey. So you put Marcus Garvey over Jesus and over God the Father. These atheists out here on him Bay, they said the word God is spelled is dog spelled backwards. Dog spelled backwards. Wow. God God's name spelled backwards is dog. So the enemy is always busy, yeah. and, 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 and they need you to be weak in, a weak enough vessel for you to, to repeat their um, blasphemous language to keep people asleep when it's, it's contradicted to the act of God that we are um, living right now. You're basically living um, new history. The, the books are being written right now every day based on what's going on, and y'all is still in the dark and in blind because one is really just rebellious at this mm -hmm. point. Yeah, it's rebellious, being well, rebellious. I think a lot of it has to do with fear. They just sitting back. Yeah, they said, that's, that's what they doing? Too. Waiting on us to get shot. Yeah, see, gonna see what's gonna happen. If you think you have to picture the little hen, as I told you, if you think we're gonna sit here and pick the wheat and sift the wheat and make the bread and bake the bread, put it in the oven, and you just supposed to come sit down and eat and say, "Oh, we back." In Israel, that's not how this is gonna go down. It didn't happen like that the first time, and it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen now. You gotta do your part. All okay. In. Oh, all out. You know, y'all scared to put up a video. Really? Wow. Running around. You better call yourself the sinners of slaves. They better they they call yourself black. <laughs> African American. <laughs> they better call themselves that. Then to then to then to stand and fight for what's ours. When God said it's time. Minorities. Yeah. I'm a minority. No, they descendants of slavery. And they foundational yeah. black, black American. Black American. What the hell is that? The only foundation of this country is white supremacy. Y'all sound like idiots. With all due respect. Let's go to the... Because God is good. Let's go, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Let's see what God is saying in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Under the heading... A time for everything. I'm talking. To, yeah, I'm talking. Listen up, my people. Okay. The verse um, reads: There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. You hear that? There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens. This is the Most High y'all talking through Solomon. Cause we that's that's that was the point of our whole speech. We're trying to get you all to understand something. When I said there are different levels and different lanes. Now we're gonna skip down to verse eight. Let's talk what what does verse eight say? Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse eight says, There's a time to love and a time to hate. Can you repeat that, babe? There is a time to love and a time to hate. One more time. There is a time to love. And a time to hate. Keep going. A time for war and a time for peace. Okay. That's what we're trying to let you all know. Here it is right here in the book. There is a time to love and a time to hate. Listen up, my righteous ones, my black empowerment, my people, and all of y'all. It is not time. There's a time to love and there's a time to hate. It is not the time to love your enemies. Don't you hate the condition that your enemy got you under? So when you comment in our comment section, y'all, y'all sound so angry. Y'all, it's a time to love and a time to hate. It's a time for war and a time for peace. But remember, Esau uh, indoctrinated them to believe they descended the slaves. And what do slaves do? They lay on the ground so their back can get walked over. Exactly. It's a time to get our shit back. 
You think when our ancestors were taking over um the um Israel the first time and the Canaanites were in their land, they were saying, oh, we want to talk nice. We don't want to be angry. You wonder why we sound angry and we're cursing. It's a time for love. It's a time for hate. It is not time for the to love our enemies at this point. It's time for us to get our, our shit back. It's not time for us to talk nice. That's what I mean when I say it's different levels and different lanes. Y'all have to look at the word of God. And fall in line. Get on cold. It's time to get our shit back. We're not here to talk nice. Read it one more time, honey. There's a time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. And as I said, holiness and righteousness is still right. And when we get over to the Holy Land... If you want to look at the wicked land, because that's what Esau is going to be called. If you mm -hmm. want to look at them and feel sorry, because they're going to be like a third world country. Because they're going yeah. they, they get they they to get what they've done to others going to be done to them. And you want to feel sorry for them? Say, oh, that, time. that poor wicked land. Then that's, that, it, that's the proper time to do that. Yeah. But for now, it's a time to love and a time to hate. See, a lot of them want to hide behind the meekness of Jesus. Mm hmm those teachings you don't want to take the whole word you supposed to you supposed to dissect the whole world word of god this says it's a time there's a time to hate when you're getting ready to go to war yeah there's a time to hate okay they want to have behind jesus because they're scared mm -hmm. Happy hand of Jesus in Isaiah 60 when he said my clothes trench with their blood i'm coming back from edom b the visions i'm having is blood all in his hair yeah he mad Roll or get rolled over. Yeah, basically. Okay. May your fa father, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I want to talk about one more thing. We're getting ready to close. Um, were you going to say something? No. Okay. That was profound. He just gave, he just dropped that in there. Father, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. Just dropped it in my spirit right there. Mm. So I want to talk about humility. <coughs> I heard somebody say, I see myself as nothing. That's not, not humility. That's low self-esteem. Yeah. Okay, you're supposed to have some confidence. And no fear. You Look, I, I have to say this because I, I, I have told um, a couple people this, and this is just an uh, experience. Uh, again, if, if I was somewhere speaking and it's a room full of 1,200 people, and I asked, and I asked all 1,200 people, if you want to go to heaven, I want you to jump up, shout. I want to, I want the roof to cave in. The whole auditorium of 1,200 people, will, will, the, 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 the sound will vibrate the building. Okay, then I calm them down. I say, all 1,200, sit down. Sit down. Have a seat. Have a seat. Collect yourself. Now, if I tell all 1,200 people, how many of you want to die? Jump up. Shout. Bring the roof down. You'll hear crickets. Everyone wants heaven, but you're not willing to die. And it's not always in a literal sense of death. Mm -hmm. You want something, but you don't want to work for it. Mm -hmm. God did not put a spirit of fear in his people. Well, they show have it. He said I know, they, they have it. They, they scared. Yeah. But they, won't even, they won't even call themselves Hebrews. They won't even the say very, alone. The very fact that you have a fear of death in your spirit... It's going to keep you from connecting to spirit. Let me repeat that. The fact that you have any level of fear in your spirit will hinder or keep you from connecting to source creator, God the Father. Well, you know, what part of that? We told you last time he came and laid down his life. This time he come into avenge. He got you. You know... You guys, this fear and doubt is going to get you left. You're not going to Israel. I just said uh, it's going to get you killed. Yeah. She like to be, um, <laughs> honey here sees most of the good. I see the good, the bad, the ugly. So I'm just telling you how it is. It, it's going to get you more than left. You're going to be dead. Yeah. And that's what we want to talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm getting to a point here. We're getting ready to close. Like I said, we have to do an interlude because we got this foolishness going around online. Talking about some hashtag descendants of slaves. Mm. Wow. 
they don't even know. I would never tell my children that. You a descendant of slaves. I'm but a, that's how desperate they are to try and uh, they what they're trying to do is hijack God's anointing and message suffocate the and, message. And, and take it and take it as their own. As if and you don't have the anointing to face Esau, stop it. As, as, as if your little platform is so is, is so powerful or, or so um built on solid foundation that God can't just blow it over by blinking an eye. Yeah. Yeah. You're 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 actually nothing. He's Roll giving, he's giving you a chance to get it right. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, we all on the clock. Yeah. So play with him if you want. Yeah. With that foolishness. Y'all sound silly. Okay. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Humility. Humility. When my sons asked me and I broke this down, I didn't learn this. I was 30, but I, I realized that humility. I want you to picture three words here. B, B, E, slash, do, D, O, slash, have h a v e humility what is humility be do have true humility is everything that i've ever become mm -hmm. i'm a prophet is because everything that i'll ever do mm -hmm. and anything that i'll ever have mm -hmm. is because of him yes the most high yah when you know that in the very core of your being that's what humility is okay be, do, have. Anything that I have ever been or will be. Anything that I'll ever do. Or have. Or have is because of him. That's what humility is. Okay. So I'm getting to a point here. Somebody, like I said, somebody said they see themselves as nothing. That's not, that's not humility. That's low self-esteem. Yeah. Because you can't lead anybody wimpy and with low, well, anyway. Okay. So, <coughs> did you want to say something, honey? No. I'm sorry, you guys, my throat. Okay, so I want to tell you guys something, you know. Like I said, I love you. And I literally hate that we have to be so hard. Like, I yeah. literally hate that. But we but love it, you. But it's required at this time. To get you guys, it's time for the second exodus. Y'all sitting on y'all hands. And y'all doing this foolishness. And you online Hebrews. God, I told you God taking heat. He's not in the church right now. He taking y'all very seriously. That's what we telling you. You don't attack other prophets. Call them a witch. And you don't know whether or not they're a witch. That's wrong. You don't start some hashtag. Descendants of slave. When God's saying. You the descendants of Abraham. The Hebrews. I'm here to get you to, for the second exodus. You know what you're doing. Get it together. Okay. So, in closing, I want to tell you all something. My husband, Daria, used to say a few months ago, uh, um, Mike, Michael the Archangel is guarding me. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, you crazy. Because you, you have to understand, I'm, I'm explaining to you all, I'm going to start telling you all more visions and dreams we have in for the time. So that you guys, maybe it'll give you a little more courage. Right. You know. And I'm like, Boy, ain't no archangel guarding you, right? Because and you like, especially Michael, he was he was a top dog. Right, that. <laughs> you gotta understand there are really many ranks of angels, but uh, above all angels are archangels. There were seven archangels. One being Lucifer, he fell. See, that's why Lucifer was so hot. So you have to understand after the Holy Trinity, after the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it's their archangel, archangel rank. rank rank. Okay, that's why in the Bible, um, the Lord refers to Michael the Archangel as his prince. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why Lucifer became so haughty because he had so much power. Archangels have power over you. Mm -hmm. And so now it's only six of them. And that's why I laughed when you said Archangel Michael is guarding me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, are you crazy, right? Okay. So I'm going to tell personal you. Personal bodyguard. Yeah, you said he's my personal he's my bodyguard. He's my personal bodyguard. Crazy, right? So... This is a couple of months, you know, a few weeks later, I'm, I'm in my room, you know, and for three nights straight, that's another thing. These devils have um, made the rainbow a symbol of, of gay, mm -hmm. of, of gay lesbian relationship. You know, everything they do Homosexuality. It's is, a perversion. Bla is blasphemous. And, and, and for, for many of you who follow um, uh, Prophetess a Asia over at Praise Report Ministries in the Fourth Watch, she has mentioned this. Yeah, but, 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 but. The, 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 the colors of the rainbow actually represent the colors of the, 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 the archangel realm. 
you know, because they carry like a certain color sword, things like that, you know. So I was seeing rainbows in my room at night, honey. You were yeah. downstairs. You were on the third. I was on the top floor. You were on the third, three levels apart. So, um, and I, w I, w I was seeing that. And I was seeing like blue shoot across the room. Mm -hmm. And I was seeing like yellow shoot across the room, you know. And all of, because th there, you you have to understand when you when you see angels, there sometimes we'll have like little sparks, little thunderbolts, right? Psh, 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 psh. And you will see a, a a color of, and you know that that's an angel. I we found fe feathers all the time. I, yeah. I can't explain. Feathers all just to appearing, you now. appearing out of nowhere. Yeah, one time like twenty of them was flying Fly, off our roof. Off our roof. And we there was no birds in sight. We thought it was snowing. They were pure white. Pure white feathers just falling down from the sky. From my roof, seems like it's coming from my roof. There's no birds in sight, no birds in the air, no birds on the roof, nothing. Where yeah. are these fellas coming from? They were on the roof. Yeah, yeah. Just, it was just, it was just beautiful. So we get that all the time. But in my room, I just begin to see this blue, just like, psh, 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 like sparks, like little mm -hmm. thunderbolts. All this blue, and no matter you, the, the room jet black. I'm sleep, and I'm fairly. I got nervous. I'm like, okay, I knew immediately. That there was Archangel Michael because that's the color he carries, right? Mm -hmm. And I finally just said after about the third night, because he kept <laughs> through the room. I finally just said, "Is there a message?" And he whispered in my ear. He said, "Tell Daria that I'm here. That I'm here. That I've come. I'm here, right?" And then I began to see that yellow, and then I began to see like that turquoise. I knew that that was. Yellow is Gabrielle. That's another archangel. And the turquoise is Uriel. And I knew immediately that Gabriel is here to guard me. Mm -hmm. And Uriel is here for the boys. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, all these archangels. And I felt so humble. And Archangel Michael told me, this is what he said. First, like I said, he said, he said, tell Daria that I've, I'm here. That I've come. I'm, I'm, I'm guarding him. And I said, and he said, you underestimate how important you are. He said, that's humility, which is a good thing, which is what God honors. He said, but you're underestimating how important you are. Remember, I told you that I told Daria, you crazy. No, don't, God's not going to send an archangel. He's got other angels. He's not going to send an archangel. And, and that's when I began to see Gabrielle and Uriel. I was like, wow. And he said, oh, yes, we're here deep. That's three archangels. In my in my house in my bed and he in, in my bedroom and he said we're here deep because we're here to ensure that prophecy is fulfilled you know mm -hmm. and you gotta understand I told you Daria is the servant of the Lord that the scriptures speak of in Isaiah 49 and I knew immediately from Michael telling me that there is nothing absolutely nothing that can stop this second exodus that's what he meant when he said, you underestimate how important you are. We're here to ensure that prophecy is fulfilled. It's no different than Mary and Joseph. Mm -hmm. When none going to stop Jesus from coming through Mary. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all need to roll or get rolled over because nothing's going to stop. Not even Esau. God, did, he sent three archangels. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Three archangels. Just to guard us alone. Because he know Esau evil. He know Esau the first thing he want to do mm -hmm. is kill us. He said, oh, we here deep. He said, we here to ensure that prophecy is fulfilled. You underestimate how important you are. He hear about, it ain't, he hear about the second exodus. He not playing. Get on code. See, you all not seeing what we seeing. And the reason why we seeing it is because God called us to do this. They running around. Looking silly. I including themselves in fake elections. That's not going to bring you one step closer to your liberation. I know you want something to do. If you want something to do, get involved in this second exodus. Y'all not talking about nothing. We love you, though. We love you guys. All right. So in closing, um, until next time, um, I just ask if you're new to the channel that you, uh, my wife would like you to at least start at the from um, Reparations Now, uh, Lesson 12, Part 1, Solomon's Goal, and you can work your way up for a quick overview of where we're at. Um, but I always urge everyone to start at the, if you're new, and you may come in somewhere in the middle, go back to the first lesson. You do not have a choice to be a Hebrew. Work your way up. You have nothing but time right now on your hands to learn. There's nothing stopping you from learning. Mm -hmm. 
of the, the hour a day mm-hmm. and, and catch yourself up. And as you getting this teaching and learning and, and God's word in you, it'll help get your spirit together. It'll help unlock some things in you. Now you can go to the Father and He'll start working with you because there is a there is a divine order and a divine timing attached to this second exodus. So again, take advantage of the buffer of time. You have to do what you know you have to do. And start sharing. And start sharing. Stop being scared. Because what do you think the Father looking like that? So you're going to keep his message just to save your house. Mm-hmm. You don't care about his other people. His other um, Hebrews. You're not going. You're, you're not going. Because this is not a, This is not something you keep to yourself. Yeah. A messenger of good news. A messenger. Jeru- Jerusalem, I've sent you a messenger of good news. Mm-hmm. Why would you keep that to yourself? You and why would you be too afraid to share it? Do you think about let's just break it down in the simplest terms. You won't even share a video. You won't even believe. You're scared. You won't even you call think, yourself a Hebrew. You won't even call yourself a Hebrew. You think he gonna give you gold and land in beyond Israel. your wildest imagination in, in Israel? You think you're gonna get your inheritance and you wouldn't even do one thing? Don't tell me you're not that naive. Okay. All right, family. All right, Until family. Next time. Until next time, we love you guys. Stay, stay in your in your Bible. Stay asking for the Lord to continue to um, lead you, order your steps, guide you. Mm-hmm. And until next time, we look forward to talking to you again. Shalom. Shalom, family. Shalom, my Hebrew nation. I want to thank you for listening to the video. And as always, I urge you to share it on all your social media platforms with all Hebrews. You can also visit our website at www.thiro.org to learn more about our mission and to donate towards the fulfillment of God's agenda. What is the agenda? Your donations will in part help the channel grow by supporting the business operations, but mainly and most importantly, funds will help us go before the United Nations to collect our reparations. Again, my name is Daria and I am the servant of the Lord that the scriptures speak of in Isaiah 49. For I know that I have not come to convince you, but rather to fulfill a mission I was born to do. I walk in the office of a prophet and have been spiritually anointed by the Most High Yah. For Esau's reign is over and the reign of Jacob has begun. Like many of the biblical prophets before me, such as Moses, they were given armor bearers as referenced in scripture, Machai 6 and 4. Moses' armor bearers came in the form of his sister Miriam and his brother Aaron. I have been most honored that God has sent my Miriam and Aaron in the form of my beautiful and God-fearing wife, Aisha, who's also a prophetess. In closing, the time has come to begin the process of divorcing ourselves from this country and preparing our mind, heart, and souls to flee Babylon. We cannot go anywhere without money, or land. The Lord is going to use me to drive out the Gentile northern horde currently squatting on our land by speaking judgments and plagues. Daughter Babylon and the European nations will be plundered and we will collect our reparations and return home. To my Arturian council light workers scattered throughout the four corners of the earth assigned to assist and guide me in the completion of this mission, I say to you, I'm here. I'm ready. Let's do this. Shalom.